By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip, but what's your impression of Farina? You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. Allow me to share my perspective with you. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the Fortress of Meropede. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? Uh, I... I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. I will be meeting someone shortly. Do you require help with any preparations? No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working Archon. Oh? Come over here, you little critter, you! You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. <laughs> it's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please, don't kill me! I'm begging you, please! The fear in her pupils is genuine, so perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Verena dares not mention this incident to anyone. Not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Verena quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps... Eudex's new Villette is actually the genuine article. I have to find the Gnosis. If the new Villette hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. Yes, Father. My dear children, please speak. News from the Fortress of Meripede. Master... Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the fortress have all gone quiet as well. Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a Harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on the Fontaine authorities. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Eudex Nouvillette. Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, Father. Yes, Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can use it to make a breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my investigation of Farina and Eudex Nouvellet. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth, 
My wish to investigate the Fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence gathering. You should know the rest. Linny's group is quite close to you, so they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. Y you attacked the Hydro Archon? It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Farina herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Uh, alright then. I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Udex Nouvellette must be the Hydro Archon, but now... That doesn't seem right to me, either. I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Whether Udex Nouvellet or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. Of course, that is all just how I feel. Gut feelings often do not require justification. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. Should the need arise, I would be happy to cooperate with you. You don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve, and as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm sure we will work together someday.